Yo, this is Waka Flaka. I hope you guys are having a good morning, you know, that you haven't featured like that. And uh, this video here, I think is very important to watch because it features a lot of concepts which are very important right now. And also, I lose this game, which, um, sorry, just turning off my notifications on my phone, <coughs> which um, shows like what you need to like think about sometimes in the game. To like know so now and why that is so important, okay? And initially I was very, I mean, throughout this entire game, I was extremely tilted. Last game I had just been griefed by the support. Game before that I had just been griefed by the support. And I, <laughs> I said in champ select, like if you don't have hands, lucky you knew me. And then they did. And I said go mandate first. And they insisted on going knights foul. Which is fine. But it's also a bit bad if you want to snowball. Because usually like getting a damage item like Mandate or Arden or something can help you snowball more. Whereas like Knight's Vow won't really be necessary until like layer items anyway. So uh, I think I could have got like more kills and a bigger lead with Mandate. However, like it's kind of irrelevant as the game was even like... It ended up completely fine. And if I would have paid a bit more attention, we could have won it. But again... Yeah, my runes say I just kind of like standard. I went lethal tempo, triumph, alacrity, cut down because they had Cassante and I mean depends on the, what the is building. And I took my magic footwear, cosmic insight, attack speed, AD, health, with ghost and flash. And I'm playing against one of the more obnoxious matchups, and I kind of wanted to dodge this one, uh, but then I ended up being really annoyed, so I didn't. Um, this isn't really a combo I would like to play against, but it's still fine. But playing against the Yasuo and Lane Twitch is very difficult uh, with Yumi. As an example, it can be even harder. But I'm going to show you guys one option you have in this lane and what you can do. Uh, and what you should do after if you manage to do that. So, <clears throat> the first thing I do, rather than just chilling, trying to tell Yumi what to buy, etc., and arguing, uh, I think I kind of like set up for this over there, right? So Yasuo, until he gets like level 3, he's a bit susceptible to like um, you, because you're ranged, right? It's like I have this small advantage here, so I'm kind of like looking to poke a little bit. Because, I mean, if I'm poking Janna, it'll just be me and Janna fighting. If Yasuo walks up, I can walk away. We double ward here, which is fine. And then I kind of just start committing. I get exhausted. I instantly ghost. because, And then I run, as you can see. I run a bit. Just to get that extra distance from Yasuo before I start fighting again, right? Just so he can't get his Q procs. And then, since Yasuo's walking away and Janna's on my face, I end up going on the Janna. Right? And then they keep going a bit. I kind of just reposition. Stealth. And then I flash with this. And at this point, yeah, Yasuo is tilted. Because of that. And we end up killing him. Right? But even with these kills, I'm not stronger than Yasuo early game. I will most of the time most likely lose if he ends up getting melee. Um, at other levels. Like, my goal by now is just to get this shoved in under turret. Even though it's not always possible. Especially if the jungler comes right. But leaving the wave in a state as it was would be really bad. So it's either that option of, like, shoving it under turret. Which I kind of managed to do, but I didn't at the same time. Diana comes and I'm forced to recall, right? But at least I got a little bit more money than just the initial kill that I got. So it's not too bad. So, given the fact that Yasuo is like stronger than me in lane, uh, I will most of the time naturally like fall slightly behind in CS, right? 
So the fact that I got an early lead is really good because that will help me like keep up with him, right? And now comes like one of the more important aspects of this game here. It's important to like know what's happening to the waves. Like this one has obviously going. To, I mean, it's not obviously. It is going to shove into. I mean, this obviously depending, but it is going to shove into me, right? It's like there's no need for me to walk up here or catch this wave if I feel like I'm in danger. I can just wait under my tower if that is necessary. Or I can attempt to make a freeze of some sort. But again, this all depends. Uh, my only like ideal like my ideal goal right now is just to make like attempt something at level six again when I get my summoners back. Because I need something to play around this wind wall. I need to avoid this exhaust and like I can't I have to like go some all in. So I'm looking to maybe get like a bork or like at least level six before I attempt to really fight something here. Which is why I'm just not sure. Let this shove in. And given how big the wave is and me being level 2, I can't really stop this wave, right? So, at this point, there's nothing I can do to stop this from happening. And I'm forced to, like, let them crash it into me. And this again is fine. The faster I can shove this out again the faster, like, if I could remove this wave right now, it would go neutral again, right? But since my minions are going to crash, like, stop here, they're going to, like, build up. So, like, this here right now is going to be a push towards them, simply because the wave is on my side right now. So, like, there's nothing I can do to, like, influence this wave. Like, I could make a slow push or something, but I just want to, like, shove it out. But as you can see, they just go in. But ideally, I just want to shove these two waves out again and get that crash back into me with like a bit less minions. But here comes the problem. I shoved this wave. This is now going into their lane, right? And because my minions are here, and it's like it's going to freeze on their side here, I just choose to roam. Like I could stay, but. If the jungler is there, I'm most likely going to die, right? So I opt to just make a quick roam here, which again will, will hopefully like cause them to push it into my turret again. So I'll get a kill maybe and also just be able to like return to my wave falling. So we'll just look at this again. As you can see, they're kind of like freezing it, right? We have more minions, uh, so like eventually this is gonna just kill all of this if they just keep last hitting, and then they can freeze to here. And I'll say what I need to do about that layer, but first now we're just gonna look at this roam here, where I end up killing the Tlia. And what I need now, as this is gonna maybe continue to freeze or slow push, if this one is fine now. Right, but I pinged for assistance because it would be nice to have my jungler bot lane right now. Uh, could say that me using the W here and like clearing, clearing the wave is bad. Because I do think that this would shove back into me again if I would have just been more patient and chill. It's like this is like probably a mistake that I did. But again... It just really depends. Like, if Diana comes, like, it's awkward. Uh, I would maybe get Swanda off CS at least. But I think it could have shot back into me. And it could have been fine. But I would have ended up losing some more CS. So again, I opted into just shoving it in under my turret. Pop my ghost to get away from Yasuo again. And I just keep running, right? Hilly, um... Lissandra comes at the hope. This is all good. But unfortunately it doesn't work out. I end up killing the Astro, which is fine. And again, right, because what I did earlier, this wave is kind of frozen here, right? And in lower elo, what would maybe happen here is that the jungler would just come and kill these minions, and that would be really good. But that's not what they're going to do here. And now I'm kind of like showing my frustration here. I 
And yeah, again, I really am forced to shove this in, right? Like it's not gonna crash in time until Yasuo comes back. So again, I need the sack, like sack has to be here. I can't really do this without sack, but since he's not coming, I'm just hoping I can do it, right? Like I told them I need him there, but he's not coming. So I just try and shove it. Hope I can get another turret, which I managed to do. And then I can run away again. I'll be right under the and then you can see it's like clearing the way fast. Like if you would have done it slower, like it would have built up to me again. So they're just looking to crash this as soon as possible to like get it to come back into them again, right? I'm losing CS here. And again, I get into this like really awkward decision. And I always be end up being like slightly behind in XP here. Because of, like these wave states, not having a jungler to help me. Again, this is going to shove out to them. Like no matter what I do. Again, I maybe think a slow push could be better. But I do think I just opt into that fast shove again because I'm tilted. So again, <laughs> this is where he's going to shove into them. So I need the jungler to be here again. Right? Like, I, I've not had a moment where I've had full HP and had a wave be in a good position. Like, throughout this entire game. And I needed my jungler to be here at some point to, like, stabilize that. Which he hasn't done, which is why I've always come and, like, not been able to actually do anything here. I get altered all this. Really annoying, I'm low again. And like now they can choose to freeze this wave once again, but they opt into shoving it. And then end up dying, which is my mistake, but. We are now 12, 9 minutes into the game. And our jungle has 8 CS up on the. Diana, but no kill participation in any way. And I've not been to my lane at all. And that's not once like come to fix a freeze or something. And that is something that is just becoming more and more important as people are like starting to realize like they can abuse this or do that. Like the jungler has to be there. Like when the wave is here, I can't walk up, realistically speaking. It's bad for me to walk up. Sometimes I have to do it, but ideally I would not want that to happen. I would want my jungler to hover and then I can shove it in, right? But my jungler is like always like just clearing jungle, not doing anything, which just leads to this game being way more frustrating than it is. And even though Yas has died three times, I'm still down in CS um, and XP. Simply because I'm getting hovered by everyone here. This was also annoying again, right? Um, this wave was also going to shove, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah. So, like, I needed to shove this out again. Right, let's just double check. Yeah, I would have slow pushed out. Right. Yeah, uh, this would have been a slow push out into Smella. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't lying. Oh, hello. So like again, I deal, I just want to shove this out, get this under the turret as soon as possible and get a wave bouncing back again. But then this ends up happening, right? Getting flashed on, altered, whatever. Right. So like this game is really cringe, and then on top of that, my Yumi's refusing to build the item that I need her to build. So the two things we've gone over so far is just how to play against Yasuo. It's just you can go in early game, kill them, but after that you just have to respect and play for Leia. 
So like getting that initial lead is fine. I opt for the Swifties here simply because of Yasuo, Exhaust, and wanting the Spaces champions. Mm, also, it's a bit more gold efficient. But you can see I'm like down in gold now, even though he has three kills. He has more CS to me, right? But I have five kills. But he's still up in gold. I mean, I mean, obviously, like, so like, it, like, this is how the lane would usually go. You have like a window. If I have the jungle or something, it'd be a slightly different story. But just like generally speaking, like two on two, this is how the lane usually goes. You are bound to like fall slightly behind, especially with the Yumi. This is not much you can do over like play for certain windows. But I definitely do think in this certain situation here that Swifties is like extremely good in comparison to Berserkers. So like that is something I would recommend if you do see yourself like in these kind of matchups, then yeah, go for that. Now we have that window I talked about, right? Uh, if I had a mandate here, I definitely think I could have killed them. Uh, I misplayed it a bit, but again, I'm just showing like you have that window at some point where you can kill them, and that's what I'm showing here. Even though they have a lead and he's not bought items, it's kind of whatever. Like he's sitting on 1.2k gold. And I'm sitting on 400. So, like, he would maybe have, like, a finished item. It just really depends. But, like, once again, like, this is, like, the moment you want to play for. That one fight, like, this here, you are most likely going to win. Now, after he recalled, so I just want to shove it under the turret again. So it can bounce back and we can, like, go back to this choke position that I have not been able to achieve this entire game. But then... Slightly tilted. <laughs> I get ganked once again. And it's now been 12 minutes, and the stack has not been bottling once yet. For anything. So again, I'm shoving this out, taking that. Like, if Sack hovered, it would be great. But he's not doing that. So again, like, throughout this early game, like, when you're playing and you find yourself in this situation, like, pay attention to your jungler, like, where he is. Ask if he can hover and just say, like, it's important. And that's going to make a big difference. Sometimes they won't listen to, like, this guy here. But at least you try it. Most of the time, though, they will listen. But this guy here, I'm not sure what he's doing. Like, I've never met someone. I mean, I have. But during this day, I've not met someone as incredibly stupid as he is. Other than the supports that I played with. So now we've kind of like left this laning phase. I'm getting items. I'm becoming strong. And we can fight this game. Now it just becomes like an objective thing. But again, sex is like not reluctant or like wanting to fight here. So I'm just taking... Minions and just kind of like scaling because eventually like again like looking for the fighting windows we are mostly going to win like even though Diana's fed um, It should still be fine. So all I'm looking to do right now is just pick up CS get money play for objectives defend tier 1 to a mid lane and Take it from there. I die here. It's unfortunate, but again just kind of tilted just like everyone's typing being cringe beside the sack He's just in thing running it down. Yumi's like refusing to listen to anything I said However, I did have a Yumi that was worse than the semester the same day, so I don't really mind I had a Yumi that didn't even want to go on me. This is Pied Kaist and I told them you need to sit on me But they refused and then they ended up dying like 11 12 times and that was incredibly cringe So again this is just by keeping tier 1 tower It's incredibly nice to have because it provides so much vision mid lane and then just farming, staying relevant in the game, and then playing objectives. And like all these fights here is completely fine, I end up killing them all. And that is good. I could micromanage and like point to the fights, but again, these are like decent team fights that you are getting. And that's fine. Again, I use my flash and dragon spawning, but again, I do think that we could potentially um, fight this and take it. As I do think that we are like... Similar, if not like slightly stronger. If I have my ultimate at least, I will feel very confident. But it is what it is. Again, slightly tilted. Mispositioning, etc. But again. I'll just care about the general ideas of the game here. So the fact that we got a dragon fight there, that's kind of like what you want. Now again, I'm really nearing my hurricane, so I don't really care about anything else. I just want to get that before I try to do anything. So like you'll see now when I'm getting 1k gold, I'm going to look to recall to get my hurricane and then I can go on the map and I can be a lot more relevant than I would be without it. So now I get dove again. And again, right? Like looking at the situation here, like I misplayed this again, I think. But if you look at the stack, yeah, he's taking blue, right? 
think I can see, yeah. But... Yeah, I think my space moves a bit bad, but it is what it is, right? Like, Zack just doesn't care, like, they're shoving mid, like, he's taking blue, like, he's just completely out of the game. I told him all about this, and he just refused to listen. And it is what it is, but I still got, like, a half-decent team fight, at least. And Aatrox is getting top lane. Right, and the goal of the game is basically the same. Just farm, fight for objectives, take that, do that, siege, whatever. But then... When you near the later stages of the game, some other problems may arise. But generally speaking, like my role here isn't to like really siege or anything, it's just to farm stay relevant because I can't really get core here, right? So I just need to wait for like fights to happen or something, but generally speaking, I think that is better on for Dragon of Baron. And obviously keeping some kind of like pressure so they don't just collapse on the Aatrox like they did here. I think that was very bad of him now, but it's still fine. I think I misplayed this again, I could have killed Didiana. Again, extremely tilted, very low mental. Yeah. Spam ping in the dragon. And like right now I'm like Exodia build, like I have all the relevant items I need. Like obviously I would like to not get one shot by the Diana and we can probably see the Knights have done a lot of work. Like it's not a bad item. Uh, Redemption however can be a bit bad. I mean it's good if they engage with me and get like the full drop. But a lot of the time when I'm trying to space and stuff like this, I should be able to like... Oh, I should want to keep my distance, right? So, uh, like, the likeliness that I'll be able to like stand in the... Um, redemption unless she like places it in a good position... Isn't very likely. I'm just farming here because I don't see the goal here. I don't have my Q at this point, right? So I can't really like fight. Because I need my Q to be able to walk up. And I think I may be pinging that. I'm not sure. But yeah, again, we want to look for Baron. Uh, Aatrox wants to look for Spitting. But again, as you saw, right? Like, he's quite strong. Like, it's nice to have that kind of like Aatrox in the game here. Versus Diana, someone. Someone that will, like, walk up and, like, take some of that pressure. And kind of, like, clean up the back line or the front line. Or just, like, cause some disrupt in the uh, team fighting. Uh, here I just go in, uh, because I think I saw an angle, but then I get engaged on. Again, bad spacing for me, but I flash it, so it's completely fine. And then they get on me, and right now I'm just forced to fight. There's no point to like do anything other than to just right click. And this worked out eventually, right? This fight worked out completely in our favor. And at this point, we have Aatrox pushing bot lane, and I go for an Inter, I'm pretty sure. Which was bad by me, again, tilted annoyed. Right. And this, but we have to realize, right, like Aatrox is blip pushing here. I could just chill, take the minions, let him take this tower, and it's kind of like the downfall here. It's me not really considering the angle. Like, their team is, like, really looking to kill me and do something. And my team has a special sack that doesn't care about the game. And an Aatrox that really likes split push. So, obviously, my problem is that it's very hard for me to fight into all five of them. But Aatrox will beat Cassante in the side lane. Most likely, right? So, at some point, if we allow Aatrox to build enough pressure, they are going to be forced to send another member to him, which is favorable for me, right? And that is the end problem that ends up losing this game here. I'm missing some money for my LDR. 
And now, Aatrox again in the seat. So like, I'm, again, right, I'm frustrated. Whatever. Um, it's kind of relevant, though, to this here. But I'm just thinking, like, if I get a good up now, I can just kill them win the game, whatever. But ideally, I would want Aatrox to just be here and us to just be grouped as five. I think we would win, like, as well. But he, they're not wanting to listen. It's so, like, I should have been the one to be like, okay, they're not going to listen. I'll just let them play, right? So, like, I shouldn't have done this here. I should have just let them be in the side lanes and get pressure at least. And then I wouldn't have been caught here. Right. But it's still fine, I ran away. Uh, the Sandra TPs. And the fight kind of burst out. But again, like, Aatrox has gone to bot lane right? he's pushing. So if I would have just pulled out now, I mean, Lissandra's probably dead. Because she didn't use her ult or her hourglass. Which I was a bit frustrated about. Because I wasn't sure, like, how she ended up dying looking at the game. But I can see now that she got instantly CC'd. And wasn't able to do that. I open here. And I kind of force the situation, right? By like getting them to come mid. But in these kind of situations, when you have side laners or someone in the side lane, just let them push, get the pressure, and then I can, like, when people get off, like, at least just one will die, as you saw happen to Aatrox Slayer in the game. But I do think that if we were grouped and Aatrox is pushing both, and we just applied, like, sufficient pressure and just waited and played more around Aatrox's idea, then that would have worked out. But me refusing to do that and just getting caught here um, in the mid lane when we had two side laners uh, ended up losing the game. Alright. But if I would have just stopped myself at any point here, I took a three seconds to like think, like, how do you win this? And just look at the minimap. Hmm. And just ask myself, like, what's going on? What do we do or something? Then this could have been prevented. But I didn't do that. So we ended up losing the game. Obviously on voice comms or something, it would be easier. But again, this end tear was my bad. But obviously, like, everything leading up to this, like, stack being completely irrelevant, ignored me throughout, like, the first, like, 20 minutes of the game and just having me play the most frustrating game in existence with Yumi refusing to buy the item that I wanted until the third item. Kind of like really delayed my snowballing potential as well. So yeah, all in all, like really frustrating game, hard to like keep it mentally straight and if like looking back and just thinking about it, like if I would just let them play it out, this would have been completely fine. And in that sense, I did end up losing this game because of the mistake that I made. But again, <laughs> there's a lot of ways to play this. Again, I think if we were grouped 5 5 and this didn't get caught, it would have been fine. If Aatrox was spot, that's fine, but like if they don't want to do that, then just let them play that out and then just be patient and try and adapt a bit. And then you hopefully won't be in the situation that I ended up being here, which is that they just end. So yeah, I think this is a good game to watch. Hope you guys enjoy it. And continue to have a good morning now. That's why I'm like that. And take care. Peace.